Hey everyone, if you're a user of OBS Studio, you're probably aware of the recent black screen incident for game capture and Roblox. And according to many users, this is the result of the new Hyperion anti-cheat provided by Bifron, which recognizes OBS game capture as not allowed. So this is currently working on the day of the video uploaded, uh, July 22nd, 2023, uh, 2023, you know. Um, if it does not work from then on, uh, dislike and I'll be sure to update it if there's a new solution available but right now this this is working for me so this is this is a really nice thing that pops out of the community every once in a while it's just oh there's a new issue with Roblox and somebody's got to be the one to go ahead and dish something out so here it is here's a, a fix I found on a dev forum and a step-by-step -step install so keep in mind I'm yet to do extended testing on whether you'll receive punishment based on the OBS studio use but I made a successful recording for a few seconds on this alt and remained in the game after the fact, so here, here it is. Step one is to search for the Roblox player app and open the file location. And then what you'll do is whenever File Explorer is open, you'll open the file location of the Roblox player app again so that it takes you to the Roblox folder. And then you'll create a folder titled Client so c or uh, so capital c client no space capital s settings and where this makes a difference just just follow it and so you'll enter the new folder and create a notepad and so you'll copy the text in the description and read the description there's, there's text there that's very important and you'll paste it into the notepad so just as it is and then you'll save the notepad as a capital C client, no space, capital A app, no space, capital S settings, dot JSON. So that's what it looks like on screen, client app settings dot JSON. And then this should convert the file to a JSON whenever you save it. And so it's going to be directed automatically in the folder. So you don't have to move it anywhere. And then after that, you'll delete the notepad that you previously had for the JSON file. And then that's it. That's everything you have to do. It's really easy. And so what you'll do now is you'll load OBS Studio first, and then you'll load Roblox, and then you'll check if the game capture works. All right, that's it. See ya.